are here with uh, Chris uh, K1 uh, KI. KI1P, and he has got a great uh, setup here for uh, getting out and uh, being portable. So, Chris, uh, talk us through uh, you know your setup here and tell us a little bit about you uh, yourself right. too as well. So this is my solution to living in a uh, the valley of no RF. So um, my home station, 50 foot tower, is looking into granite uh, going to the west. I'm an avid contester, that's my love of the hobby, but uh, can't afford to put up a 400 foot tower to overcome that, and can't afford to buy property on a, on a mountaintop uh, in Vermont. So got this uh, Small vehicle little from, van. <laughs> yeah, this, this vehicle came uh, from NBC News. Oh, very cool. Um, and it was fate that I came across it, but moved all my gear into here to uh, bring contesting on the road. And I want to push the envelope of what can be done with a ham shack on wheels. Oh, so. Very cool. All right, so we'll walk us through here a little bit your setup. We can start, I guess, with the antennas here first. Okay, and so give us a little... uh, the, the most obvious is there's <laughs> two masts. <laughs> Two mast. Uh, these run on uh, compressed air. Okay. Um, the front one's 40 feet. The rear one's 50 feet. All right. Um, you'll see I've got uh, some antennas for doing satellite work. I also use those for DHF contests. Okay. Uh, and the rear mast right now is a six meter um, uh, dipole. And the two other black antennas are for repeaters. They're just in the horizontal position for transport. Normally, okay. they'd be vertical once I get got to it. where I'm going. All right, cool. Uh, to power all of this stuff, I've got a 7K generator in, in the back. All right. That starts from a switch in the front. I also have uh, an air compressor to run the two towers that have two tanks underneath, right and left, okay. uh, so underneath the vehicle. So they're independent of each other, okay. Um, also on board, I've got eight 200 amp hour batteries to run everything so if i'm doing poda and you get to a site and you can't run a generator at night mm -hmm. no problem can, okay. can handle that uh throughout the night very cool also on the outside my electrical hookup to for shore power uh, and power for internet in and other antennas in and out oh excellent okay um, that's your photo rig? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that it is. <laughs> so in, inside, my main radio is a, a, a Flex 6000 series radio. But uh, on here, I've got a few HF radios uh, to be able to do uh, SO2R, two amplifiers, uh, one for around 700 watts, the other almost full legal limit. Oh, wow. Um, series of radios for doing VHF contesting. Uh, all the way up to 1296. Okay, wow, so you're pretty much covered all bands, uh, all modes. Yeah, I've got uh, two repeaters, one uh, DMR, one analog. Okay. Uh, so I can throw those on uh, in a hurry. Um, everything in the back is, uh, for contesting, the big thing um, they say in contesting is how much time do you have your butt in the chair. Right. And so I've made this so that I can sit in one spot, have good access to all the equipment. Uh, I do not need to get up to for almost anything. I've got a coffee oh, a coffee maker over here. <laughs> I've got a microwave fridge and, and everything. Wow. fridge. And then as the night goes on and you get tired, I've got a full bed in the back and yeah. that has a computer in the back to control the stuff in the front. <laughs> so you can work while you're sleeping. <laughs> um, I can control this stuff from inside my house wow. uh, through Wi-Fi. Okay. I can control it from the iPad up front while going down the road. Very cool. Um, so that's, that's it in a nutshell for the, the contesting part. Yeah. Then I work in uh, two-way radio for a living. Okay. And so I had to trick it out with that stuff. I've got um, radios in here for P25, DMR, uh, everything from low band up through 900 meg. Wow. Um, it came with 18 NMO mounts on the top. So I, I have plenty of antenna yeah. real estate up no, there. No problem with making adjustments um, very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, then, it's not done yet, but it's but been a work in progress. <laughs> I, I got this uh, back in November. Okay. So, and every night and weekend, I've been out tweaking it, moving things around. Wow. I went through 
a five gallon bucket, literally, of ferrite beads. Uh, so every single wire in here has ferrite on it, uh, soaked down. Yeah. Every single piece of equipment in here has a ground strap going to a ground bus bar in the nice. back. Um, I've been done it right, <laughs> or, or getting try, to trying it. to. A, a lot of the equipment is, is older, mm -hmm. other than the flex, yeah. but it, it, it's what I've got. So. Yeah, hey, it works well, Just and I'm trying to setup. squeak out every little dB I can possibly get. <laughs> Very cool. Now, have you done contesting with this so far yet, or have you did? Uh, yes, I've, I've run several contests. Um, uh, one being the new um, Vermont Cuso party. I've done. Uh, w WPX Dex, yep, recently. I uh, think the 160 contest I did out of here. Wow. It's hard for me to remember which ones I did out of here right. and which ones I haven't. But every time there's a big contest, I'm I'm trying to operate. So basically, it. you're iterating on every contest. You're like, okay, we got to make changes to this, or you got to make. Yeah. So like Vermont Cuso party, for an example, I did several um, several parks in different um, counties. Yep. And after that last uh, county, at the end of the end of it, I'm driving home in the dark, dictating into my phone. Okay, I need to change the cabling for this. I need. Uh, it was hard to reach this. I need to move that, and cool. then tear things apart. You know, the next weekend and <laughs> reconfigure everything. Very so. cool. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, this is an amazing setup. I'm quite impressed with it. It's definitely. Uh, you know, a labor of love for sure. <laughs> it's been a passion. <laughs> and outdoes, uh, you know, any uh, mobile setup that I think I've had, this, you know, for a while. But uh, it's very impressive. So uh, is there any way people can, you know, reach out to your channel or website or anything uh, to get I, more I've, of? I've started a uh, social media on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram okay. uh, under Lost Nation Radio. Okay. All right, cool. Um, well, awesome. We'll uh, head they, over to Lost Nation and uh, check him out for sure. All right. And uh, any uh, you know major plans uh, in terms of uh, next improvements? Are you going to kind of go more digital in terms of uh, SDRs or? Uh... I've got two other flexes I want to put in here. Uh, my plan is to, if I can afford it, do some sort of internet link, whether it be Starlink or not, uh, so other people at home could operate my station while I'm on the road. Oh, very cool. A lot of people on YouTube are operating their flex from. Remote. from remote from their vehicle yeah. I'm doing the opposite <laughs> I'm having people operate my vehicle remote as I bring it to you bring the party locations. they just uh, you know connected that's awesome yeah. very cool all right well hey thank you again I appreciate uh, you know giving us a quick tour here and uh, like I said check out as uh, socials there and um, you know definitely let them know uh, what you think and yeah we're looking forward to see what you do in the future